And welcome to your Gold Market Update for today, the 1st of December 2022. And what a start to the month we've seen. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Gold Markets, take you through what's happening in markets today. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Uh, there was a major rise on Wall Street last night, the Nasdaq up in excess of 4%. Uh, despite mixed data pre-market, uh, what happened was essentially Jerome Powell came out in a speech and suggested smaller rate hikes from December. We sort of guessed this might be the case anyway on the back of some of the data that's come in. But nevertheless, to hear the Fed chairman himself suggest that that was on the agenda sent markets skyrocketing to the level where we saw indices break key levels and now at 13 week highs. We've got an eye on some key data tonight. And of course, China is still an issue with the COVID situation. there still concerning. US futures are slightly higher in early Asian Action and Asian indices are following that stronger US lead. ASX is up over 0.9% when we last looked. European equity futures suggesting a strong open later because most of that move in the US was after European markets closed last night. The US dollar index dropped and is nearly three month lows again. It's weaker again in Asia. We've seen some yen strength, particularly against the US dollar, but generally across the board. Anything against the USD is looking good today. Gold is back over the 200 EMA over 1770. We also saw moves higher in both oil and copper, the latter moving up to the 200 EMA around 380, which looks like a key level. And the VIX moved back downwards towards three month lows. Uh, Bitcoin did rise to three week highs, a little bit of respite for cryptocurrencies, but uh, no massive reason to get excited about that for right now and on the wider economic from china covid situation is still in focus supply issues are going to be concerning we did have some chinese pmi data which did come in slightly better than expected so that was a slight positive in relation to the impact of this uh, later on we've got german retail sales eurozone jobs and then of course we've got us weekly jobs and the important pce number which is one of the fed's favorites uh, a softer number than expected should see markets rise again uh, and vice versa of course a couple of charts to caught our interest today uh, we'll start in the fx world with the usd yen that we've already referenced you can see that strong move this morning through to follow through on that break uh, through a key level yesterday at 138.56. Not surprisingly, we found a support here. Uh, if we just pop that line around about where we see this support being, it's possibly around that 136.33 level. And you can see we've actually tested that. Uh, further break through that could see us down another 50 to 60 pips, we would suggest. Uh, but just watch this. We appear to have bottomed out on this. So whether this is a little bit of profit taken on that move, as we saw here, or whether it's simply a pause before we continue on the way down. Subsequent to that data remains to be seen. Uh, there could be perhaps a move up before that data comes out. Maybe if we see a move over 137, we could see it up to 137.50. So at this stage, worth keeping an eye on over the next few hours. European Open may be the time that we get a further move to the upside. In the ASX, we saw a strong move up on zero to follow through of this breach of this key level at 7064 seeing this big move higher today up near 75 uh, a significant gain without a doubt and looks as though that could be good for a move up to 80 dollars in the short term which of course is around about a six percent uh, move up from where we are now as you can see there 5.79 percent uh, so one to keep an eye on, see where this finishes at the end of the day, but looks as though there's some buying pressure coming back in into this stock that's, beaten, that's been beaten down significantly really since the beginning of August. We seem to have breached this downwards trend channel that we've been in, so this could be important technically. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.